Hey everybody, it's Ben and Beta, and one of the products I'm going to be testing for overlanding is a air compressor kit from Thor's Lightning. And today we're going to be testing out their four tire inflation deflation kit. And the reason for that is when I got my new tires put on here, these Falcon uh, Wild Peak AT4s, they were actually kind of overinflated. They're at about 38 PSI, and they really can be down to like 32. Uh, all the way down to 30 I was told so that would probably make my ride a lot better as well so I'm going to try this deflation kit hook it onto all four tires at the same time and see if we can get it down to the tire pressure that uh, I would like to see it at to see if it rides better now that'll probably affect mileage a little bit but we'll see we'll see how it goes so we're going to set this up and see what it's like just to show you where we're at for tire pressure I do have this old school tire pressure gauge so we'll give this front tire here a quick test. So it's reading pretty close to about 40 uh, right now. It's definitely over 35, it says about 40. So we'll see what it says here. Inside the truck I've been reading about 38. I would say this is a very good kit. Uh, it seems very high quality from what I've seen just taking out of the, uh, the box and everything so far. I haven't tried it, we're gonna try it here in a little bit. But uh, again, this is a local, local to Colorado company. This is a very similar to like the Morphlate system, and uh, I like the cool colors. Thor's kind of cool. So this is actually called, there's a component here called Thor's Hammer, which allows you to go to all four tires, which is kind of funny. So I love the sort of branding. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the box, or in this case, this bag. So the first thing we're gonna have are gonna be our hoses. And you can, you can see that they've got a cover on them, which that's fantastic to keep dust and any kind of issues out of that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then they have sort of a quick connect to Thor's hammer, which I'll show you in a minute. And then they have a quick connect to the tire as well. Again, we'll see how this works. You're gonna get two of those. And then you get Thor's hammer. And you can see that this is actually says it's made in Colorado. So that's pretty cool. I did put some batteries in it. It doesn't come with them. These are triple A's that you need to put inside here. First thing I need to do is hook up everything to Thor's hammer. And I also like that they give you some straps so you can tie it back up when you're done. That's nice. So we're just testing deflation today, but we will test inflation when we get on the trails at some point. I just thought it was kind of a cool way to give this a try since my tires were all a little bit overinflated at this point and uh, see how that went. So the way this each of these will look is you've got the connector that goes to Thor's hammer and then the connectors that go to each tire. So you just kind of lay these out. There's a short end that goes to the, the first tire and then a longer end that goes to the back. And they have these in different sizes for different size vehicles. So full-size trucks um, have a longer cable to them, but if you have a mid-size truck, you can just get that one. And if you're not sure what you're gonna have, I would guess get the full-sized. Nice and easy to roll it out, so that's good. And I'll go ahead and do the other one real quick. Obviously, this is gonna take a little longer the first time. I uh, haven't done it before, right? Not that I don't know what I'm doing. I've, I don't understand how it works, but I haven't done it before, so I don't know what I'm doing. First thing I need to do is hook up everything to Thor's hammer. All right, so I tested out the quick connect there. Uh, I did learn a lesson, and that is you wanna connect these first to your Thor's hammer before you connect them to uh, the tires, otherwise the, tire, the air is just gonna come out, which makes sense. But, you know, I was excited. I wasn't thinking. So let me uh, go ahead and do that. Again, you have these really quick connects Go in, nice and easy. All right, so I've got each end connected at this point. Um, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do from here is I'm going to want to connect up to each tire. All right, for connecting to the tire, it's pretty easy. You just pull off the end here and then pull back, quick connect. I wanna make sure that that's off. So I've turned that off now. Uh, it was on the on position, so down is open, which would make sense. But again, we're learning, here we go. Next one. So if you can imagine you're on a trail, this is gonna go pretty quick, especially once you know what you're doing. I'll show you the magic of this system in a little bit here. You know, some people said they had some trouble with this. We've been getting a good seal sometimes, so let's see. The other ones went on really easy.
There we go. So you just kind of got to get in there nice and tight. You can hear the air kind of coming through there to fill up. So now, what should happen is, this is going to tell me where my tires are. So we're currently at, uh, let's see here, if I can get a good picture of that. Um, we're currently at 37.6 for all four tires. And if you can kind of see what that looks like, 37.6. And so what we're going to do is let out uh, air until we get to the desired tire pressure. And for me on this one, I'm going to try to get it down to about maybe 33. Something like that. See how that rides. I can go all the way down to 30. So here we go. All right. So just in that little bit of time, we got to 33.9. Oh, 34. Let's let it kind of settle out. Okay, still going up. Seeing 34.1 at this point. So let's let out about another pound. Three 32.1. 32.9. I'd say that's pretty good. So there you go. Oh, 33 exactly. Like what did that take? About a minute and a half. Um, so that should be done now and we should be able to take these off and let's just make sure everything comes off the way it should. Right. And actually I'll check each tire with my tire gauge too. Now originally this tire was about a pound less than all the other ones. So we'll see if that's still actually the case, I guess. Should deflate them all at the same. So this is saying about 31, 2, 3, 4. And then when we're done, we're also going to go ahead and put this end back on to make sure that that stays safe. All right. Crease there. And this is saying about the same as the other one. So 34-ish, which is great. Disconnects really easy, that's for sure. Some of them connected really, really easy and quick. Some of them a little bit harder, but I think overall, it's a pretty easy system to use. So let's just check this one. Same. Nice. Yep, in the same. That's exactly what we wanted. So we'll see if the ride is a little bit different now after we let the tires out or air out. Um, I imagine it'll be a little bit better at least. How much better? We'll find out. And then uh, cleanup is pretty simple. You just do your dis quick disconnect here. I guess I'm saying it's simple. It's hard to grab in the right spot here. My hands aren't humongous. I'm only 5'8". All right. So it looks like to turn it off, you need to put the valve all the way down to open and then it'll turn off. So that's something to note. So if it's got pressure in it, it doesn't want to turn off. So it's reading a pressure. I think that'll fit in there. Tie it up in my strap real quick. First one's back in. Velcro got the best of me there. That would have been quite easy. And then I'm just putting this in here just for protection since they sent it. Why not? Good. And that's it. So I would definitely say for uh, quick tire deflation, Thor's Lightning gets, uh, at Thor's Lightning, the uh, four tire deflation inflation kit with Thor's hammer definitely gets a thumbs up for me. And uh, I, would, I would look at picking it up. I do have a link in the description if you wanna pick one of these up. And uh, in this video, I'll also leave a 5% off code if you want to get one for yourself and it'll give you 5% off your order of a Thor's Lightning system. So yeah, check that out. Definitely worth the money. Well done, Thor's Lightning team. Just want to say thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And remember to live your life in beta, and we'll see you next time.